One human, one human, one human. Together, how many humans? In the spirit. There's one human? Four of us. Can we say one human? No, because there's four of us. Right. The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. Spirit. One God, one God, and one God. Together, how many gods? One. one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. See, we are one human. You know it is. We are one human. We're one human. You don't understand, you understand the spiritual side of it. And you look. Stop the patronizing. It's, it's, it's one of them. Look, even the even it says as well the Trinity in itself. It's, it's a mystery. These things. Is, and that's the mystery of God. It's not a mystery. You know, you can't, you can't, it's clear to me. No, it is. You can't. It's actually, clear. You know it's clear to me. You guys think clear. crystal God, clear. You can't actually box God. No one's trying to box God. No one's trying to box God. That's what exactly. I'm saying. You're doing it, but you don't no, realize I'm that you're not. Just... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm saying this is how God has revealed himself and that's just what it is. No, it's that's not what, what it I'm is. saying. Who did God reveal that to? Jesus didn't say it like that. He said God is the one who is the Father only. It's the revealed Father through the scriptures. It's revealed through the scriptures. No, no, no. Genesis. The, the, of God the Bible, the of the Jesus Christ, both disagrees with you. No. Because no. Jesus Christ says the, the only true God is one person, the Father. Which is a person. No, I think we'll get, we'll get on one what? One, one what? Thank you for the okay. She made, okay, you know what? She has a brilliant point. We have to all understand that. Jesus said, I am the Father of one. That means one God, right? That means they're one. Does that mean they're one God? Yeah. Do you remember? Let me just finish this. Do you remember? Do you remember? Jesus said, just like I am the Father of one, you are also going to be one with us. So you're also part of one, this oneness. So he gave a type so of oneness. Hmm? God lived in yeah, us. so just like the Father and the Son are one, you are also one with them. Does that make you God? We are the yes, body but of it's Christ. What, it, that's what I'm saying. It's that's what I'm There's different it's types of oneness. That's, that's, right, that's, that's what I'm saying. But Jesus says so just the, as. The oneness of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit is different to the oneness of me being with God. There can be. There can be. And that's what I'm saying. You need to understand oneness is not just one No, you have you have a fair point. You have a fair point, correct point. There can be different types of oneness. But the slight problem is Jesus uses the word, just as I and the Father are one, so shall you be. So it's the same type of oneness. If God if God came and said to you, that, that it's Adjust that point, exactly, Spirit. address. If that's how he revealed himself to you, Deflection. what would you say? If God, no, reveals, no, no, asking, if that's if God reveals to me and said, I am Father, Son, Holy Spirit, I will say you are Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's what you've revealed to me. Then, then but, that means this whole, us having this whole um, but the problem, it, there's no point. The, the problem is, is because that's, that's the question that I asked you. How did Jesus reveal who he was? And you said, some said he was a prophet. Why? He, no he, one identified him as you, God. If, if you if you want to know who Jesus is, yeah. believe he died on the cross, was buried and no. resurrected. No, listen. I'm I'd giving, go directly I'm to the source. I'm giving you the keys. No, it's, believe he died the on the keys. cross, was buried, resurrected. Repent of your sins and trust in him. Exactly. And I tell you the truth, Mansour. Mm. You will know Jesus Christ. I know You're it already. You'll your life and he'll use you. You'll convert all these Muslims here. Okay. You'll, do you, you'll do you love Christ? The gospel to them, do you love Christ? And they'll change their heart. Do you love Christ? That's my prayer for you. Do, do you love Christ? I'm going to leave on that note. Okay, do you love Christ? I love him with all my okay. heart. Okay, is he self sufficient? He's everything to me. Is he self sufficient? What do you it's mean by that? Ah, the, the point to take on as you're going, because I'm not going to keep you any longer because it's not fair that I keep you on longer. Yeah, self sufficient means you are independent, you don't need anything else or anyone else. By you, you are totally self sufficient. You are yourself enough. So, for example, I am not self-sufficient because I needed life to be yeah. given to me. I need to eat food, drink water, breathe in oxygen. I am dependent. Yeah. God, by definition, has to be independent and self-sufficient. No, because... What? I, I, let, me, let me explain to explain, you. Explain, explain, explain. To explain. You. So, God, no, no, no. God is love, yeah? Loving, listen, yeah, listen. loving. God, answer, God, answer the statement, yeah, by the way. He has to be self-sufficient. All right, cool. God is love, so... If God, if God is independent, when you love, love is an action. So if he's independent, you can't just love yourself. So that would disqualify God. But when you have the, the triune Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it's the union of love within Dependency there. principle. So because God is love, if you was just by yourself in this world, you can't actually love. Because this, love is an action. This this so point. That, that's why even the Father, Son, Holy Spirit talks about the love of God. But if God was just on his own, he can't love nothing. Sure. So there it wouldn't be love. Okay. Very interesting point. It was this, oh, what I'm talking. It's like. Yeah. May you're I? Not, you're not going to understand. May, may I? May I give you some thoughts on this? Right. This one. This particular example was used by 
William Lane Craig and various others even before him. But there's a slight logical problem with this kind of explanation. You see? Try to understand this. You see? God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. You are saying, before he created anything, you can't call him the creator. By, by your own consistent logic. Okay. So, before God created anyone, had any relationship of creation, is he the creator? Does he need... He can still be the creator without creating anything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Without forgiving anyone, can he still be forgiving? Yeah. Good. So he doesn't need an object of relationship to express his attribute of forgiveness or his attribute of creating. But you don't wait, 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 wait. Because love. If, I'm, I'm explaining. If God did not possess the attribute of love, if he did not possess it, even if you have an object, can he love someone? So imagine there, like, you know what? There is God and there is the Son and there is the Holy Spirit. If God the Father did not possess the quality of love, can he love the Son? No, if he didn't possess it, how can he? He cannot. How, how so can what he? is necessary? The object or the attribute first? Simple question. What is necessary is to have that quality. If you do not have the quality, it doesn't matter if you have the Son or the creation, you can't express that love. If you did not have the quality of love, the attribute of love within you in, in the first place, you cannot love someone. So God, he needs to have it first before he can express it to someone. No, but you need to be able to express it as well because love is an attribute. What, no, no, what I'm saying is, it is a pre prerequisite first that you have to have it, even if you have, look, even if you have, I'm saying, look, look at the opposite. You have the sun, you have the sun and you have the Holy Spirit and God doesn't have love. Can he express his love? He can't. So object is redundant here. Yeah? The only way he can express his love if he has it first. But then mm. what if both of them can coincide at the no, same no, they, time? It, it, the same way as when he, when, no. he, when, when, God, when God when God made the heavens and is, the earth and all, is all God, time matter and that came into existence. I will I will all at the same I will exp time. I will so expand. You, you 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 have to have it in you no, no. and you still have to okay. display. I will expand. God is merciful. Before he created anyone, who was he merciful to? Mm. We're no humans, right? God is someone of vengeance, like Old Testament says. He's, he, is, he punishes the wicked. So he is wrathful. Who did he express his wrath and yeah. vengeance to or against? There was no creation there. Yeah, he did, they didn't need to because they no. have a perfect union. No, so. do, you, do, you, do you accept that his mercy, his compassion, his love, his forgiveness, he cannot express it according to your understanding unless there's someone else to express. But what we agreed, you don't need the object. That means you can have the attribute of love, knowledge, compassion, inherently. forgiveness inherently without an object to be there first. That's why William Lim Craig, even though he's very, very intellectual, but he made a very big blunder here. So did many of your philosophers like, um, um, I don't know name them and, and belittle them, many philosophers in the past, because human beings are fallible. So when it comes to this kind of you know, rebuttal against like, oh, the reason why you need to have a trinity because you need to have this relationship, it doesn't work that way. God is, look, before anyone worshiped God, was he God? Or did he become God when someone worshiped him? No, he's God already. He's God already. Yeah. So you don't need someone to uh, worship yeah. first yeah. and because a God is a being who is worshiped. A deity, yeah. God. Oh, God is a being that's worshipped. So yes. then who worshipped him when he, in the beginning? No, that's what I'm saying. You don't need anyone else. Said he's a God that, that's no, I am God. saying if somebody went with this argument that you presented, that you have to have an object to express that. No, I'm saying that love has to be it has to be displayed. But we explain why it doesn't have to. We explain why it doesn't need to. No, you explain why I think you explain why other things don't. No, I explain even love. If God didn't possess love first, he cannot love the son. Yeah, but Even if, if the son if, was and there, if, and if he didn't, if he didn't have something, if he didn't yeah. have something to love, how can he love that? How, how can that love be? Actually? How can God be creative if there was nothing to create? He can still. Okay, let me give an example. Imagine you end up in a nice island. There's no other human being. Does that mean you're not compassionate? You're not kind? No, you're not fair? Wait, 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 wait. That does that mean you're not just? Just because you can't express any of mm. your attributes? No, but God's created me, so I, I would have so, really had the... So, you know, so, the so, so what you are now telling me and us, 
you already possess those attributes even though they're not no given to me even though they're not expressed no given so, to me from god no problem because you possess those attributes given to you by god the expression doesn't need to be expressed to make you to understand that you're kind and compassionate and just and fair or someone else because you know it already because you have the attributes mm. likewise god doesn't need to express his love to someone to show he's loving because he already has that attribute of love inherently inherently, inherently. Excuse me. he has it but we have to understand it it's not inherent in us no god possesses it inherently yeah he does that's the argument but we we don't know okay. that we do so the, this we question this question it. came to understand who really god is god is self sufficient independent being do you agree yeah okay was the father self sufficient and independent yeah is Jesus independent and self-sufficient? Yeah. yeah. Take care, my friend. Yeah. We'll talk again. Yeah. Take yeah. care. But reflect on what we said. Is the Son, in the Christian doctrine, is he self-sufficient? Yes, but only as the Trinity. Only as. By himself, is he self-sufficient? Yeah, but it's. Yeah. No, it's not about with others. Like I am powerful when my brother with strong muscle is there. Okay. No, am I powerful no, myself? Wait. Jesus told me what it's all about. Is he self-sufficient? Hear it from God. Is yeah, he self-sufficient? Yeah. Okay. No, so, he's self-sufficient as I hear it. But he's no, not that's what I mean. That's Let me explain means. what I mean by self-sufficient. No, okay. God. Right. God, by definition, has to be self-sufficient. Do you agree? God, by definition, have to be self-sufficient. Yeah. If Jesus is not self-sufficient, can he be God? God? Then he's not God. All right. You're right. That's what we the point we're making. Yeah. It's great. Isn't it? Are you a Muslim? Once, no. I'm okay. Um, a Muslim is someone who submits their will to the will of one true God. So does a Christian. Okay. So do you submit to the will of one true God or yes. Yes. a God who is three in one? I There's a difference between the will of God and thank God Jesus came down to say, do you know what, mates? You're getting it all a bit wrong here. You know, you love each other as you love your neighbour, so you're really fucked. <laughs> And what Jesus said to Nicodemus um, was, excuse the, 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 me, the, the, excuse, can I finish? Yes, yes, I'm saying to all this, I don't care the, the, what you say. There is a, there is a sound, to me. there's a sound you have to say because you use the F word here. Children may be watching. Okay, and I'm we don't sorry, want to. Children, that's so wrong. I do okay. apologize. Carry on. So when Nicodemus said to Jesus, so Jesus, all right, mate, what's going on? Yeah. He said, I want to just hang it. He said, so as far as you're concerned, mm -hmm. what's the most important, um, what's it called, commandment? Jesus huh. said was to love God no. with all your heart. No. No, that, it's the first commandment. To love God with all your heart. No, what is it? it's not. What is Before it? you say it, it's not. In the Christian. Uh, no, no. In the Torah. There can only be Which one important commandment. There can only be one most important commandment consistently no, throughout human Muslim history. Muslim wasn't before no, Judaism. No. Um, in human history throughout, from the very first man to the very last man standing, if God says there's one important commandment, that will be consistent throughout. Mm. Which is what? That you should worship none but God and you should take him as one and only true God. Okay, I'll say it a different way. So Jesus said you shall worship only but one God mm -hmm. and no others. Correct. And Nicodemus said, all right, then what's the second commandment? Mm. And Jesus said the second commandment that you all know whether you're Christian, Judaism or Muslim, mm. that's to love your neighbor as you love yourself. I can't. Jesus. I can't do I'm that. I'm not asking you. My, so none Jesus of us can. Said, you Jesus, can't love your stop. neighbor. Just stop. Let me I'll finish. Tell you, okay, finish and I'll tell Thank you why you. we can't. Thank you. Jesus said, love each other as I have loved you. Sure. There's the difference. Okay. If we love each other as we love ourselves, we're finished. Okay. So I'll look to I'll him how he loved Sure. People. How Here he is... loved children, how he loved his enemies, how he loved people that followed him. Sure. Look to him how you should love. Okay. And when then I said we might have a chance. When I said I can't love my neighbor like I love myself or my wife, 
the way someone loves their wife, they can love a neighbor's wife like then that. Then you're missing wait, wait, the point of love. Wait, 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 wait. It is impossible. You're missing the point of love. We, we're not missing. No. Because when you're you say love earthly, your neighbor, no. You're talking about your lower nature. We need to make it love. clear. We need to make it clear. We're Many about Christians. God, so therefore, we're talking about May I clarify? Sense May I clarify? May I clarify? <laughs> the reasons why maybe many people are sleeping with the neighbor's wife, maybe they misunderstood this. Isn't it true? In this country? Muslims, no, well, no, not, no. In, not just in, in this the country. West. Hang on. And in Let's the East. Right there. Can I finish? Can I finish? In the world. In so the world. You want to say in the world? Yeah, I was saying West right. and the East. Many okay, people. No, even in the East. That's what so, I'm saying. So, so, West and so, East. In the world, in the world, many the, people with, with are Muslims, Christian, and Ju not Muslims. Judaism's in this country. May I? May as I? You fornicate may I, other may women I finish? Other than your may I finish? I so there are this. many people who are loving their neighbor's wife like they love their own wife. They're sleeping with their neighbor's yeah. wife. Yeah. Now, it could be because of misunderstanding. Because, come on, no, that's why. Because of lust. That's that. No, that's why we need to clarify it's that lust. we cannot love. Our neighbor, like we love ourselves, we have to love in a different way, and okay. this is why. Well, this is I why. I don't agree. Thank you very well, much. I, so you I agree with people sleeping with neighbors' wives? No, no, I don't agree with how you see it. That's why no, the clarification is necessary. Very, you, no, okay. I don't agree with how you see it. I okay. see things on the spiritual realm. You see yourself as a man. Do you worship a Jesus? Do you person. do you worship Jesus? Thank you. Do you worship Jesus? You can't end it on you that note. Don't run away. I'm very happy Come. for you. God bless. God bless. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, God is with the Muslims anyway. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, um, that's fine.